So there's a lot of younger, hungry people out there that want to be world champions. Um, you, you probably get maybe, I don't know, 700 messages a day. Hey, man, can you sponsor me? Hey, man, I'm trying to go to Worlds. Can you give me some money? I'll shout you out on the Instagram. Yeah. Um, I want to ask you from a business owner's standpoint, what um, advice, uh, partly I think uh, this is probably a two-part question, um, advice that you would give younger up-and-coming, I guess you could say talent, um, on how to get sponsorships, uh, from and then from a business standpoint, what you're looking for and when you're looking to sponsor somebody. Yeah, so there's there's a lot of it. I actually have like um, a, a file that I, I haven't put it on on the website. I was gonna put it on it to give you like guidelines on how to you know become a sponsored athlete, not just in for us in general, but in in the general aspect of it. But you know, there's a lot of little key areas. Um, international competing is is huge. So, and, and a lot of, a lot of, uh, brands, uh, and especially for us, we, we recognize the IBGDF, right? Just like mm -hmm. most people. So, you know, if, if you're not competing internationally, it's a little bit more difficult to get that sponsorship. You might be smashing the scene locally, which is great because we, you know, we want that too, but internationally we want to see that level of competition as well right and then it has to do with followers right there's a, a you want to have a certain amount of followers just to begin with so what i've done like for us i've made tiers so for us to sponsor we have like just a regular ambassador which is just like a verbal agreement and then we have a sponsored ambassador and then we have tier one two three four and five five being like the marcus buchesha and the leandro Lowe's type of thing which we're not there as far as Canada goes. Like for me, financially, I'm not even there to do such a thing, right? But I'm hoping, you know, with years to come, we will be there. But just compete internationally. And number one, like I, like you said, like I get messages. Our email spam is like crazy. <laughs> with money give, money. Like, give me money. I want to yeah. go. You know, on I, vacation. Just, just recently, the other day, I had four. Uh, four athletes reach out to me for a sponsorship and you know, I love your brand and I would love to represent it. And then I always scope, like I always look into the athlete and if I can't see inside their profile, I ask to follow them. And then if you're not wearing, it doesn't matter if it's Kings or a different brand, if you're asking someone to sponsor you, it'd be nice to see that you're wearing their brand first yeah, yeah you're supporting the brand at least at some point yeah. right like so th these four people that inquired it i went on their 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 profile and not even like not even a t-shirt yeah. clearly don't like <laughs> brand that much can but you sponsor <laughs> me i'm gonna wear a hyper fly oh wait uh never mind yeah <laughs> you know, like but there's there's areas there like that you you want to do like Competing internationally is huge. Having a lot of followers is also key. Uh, and you, morally, like, respectful. We don't want, you know, guys that are high strung, shooting off their mouth, bad talking other people. We don't want people representing our brand that way either. And then there's other small little things like that we can get into, I guess. Sure, we can get into those. We got plenty of time. <laughs> now, I, I want you to imagine this sponsorship. So, when you when you think the top names that King sponsors, there's Bouchesha, there's Leandro well, Lowe. Just, we we all we were talking about sponsoring him, uh, but it's just yeah, it wasn't it wasn't feasible at that time, anyways. But we Who do have Le Leandro Lowe. Leandro Lowe. Yeah, oh, we have Le Leandro Lowe, Fion Davies, uh, yep. Ka Ka uh, Katrina. There's a bunch of them, right? I want you to add in that five, that tier five, Aaron Gall. That that's the, that's the next future of the sport that there we need go. to add. The man, the man that has a huge following. He's wearing a, a Hobson Mora hat, not even a Kings hat. Way to go, Aaron! I don't have anything. <laughs> like I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to talk you up for a spot. I'm on a budget right now. I can't even buy anything. There you go. I have, I have several Every Kings. Day, hold on a second. I will say this. Like, since um, since Mike and I started um, 
our, our club up at our, our place, basically everybody that has purchased a King's Gi. Like, everybody. They do not purchase – only one guy bought, bought it to Tommy Gi, and we're like, what the fuck, man? You're totally <laughs> ruining this. <laughs> he's not, he's not allowing the photos. No, 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 we don't. We kick him out. But it's funny because <laughs> – 